It's pizza time. I'm bringing you a super summer pie. The summer vibes I feel like are in full swing. We're on location down here in South Laguna, California. A beautiful ocean view behind me. Got a close, but I got the uni warming up outside. It's about like at 50% right now for the bake today, but set on this beautiful ocean view. So let's keep it fresh. Doing a vegetarian pie today with some garden veggies looking really bomb. I got some corn in the mix. I'm gonna have a slice with my dad today. One of his favorite toppings is corn. Uh, you might have seen in some other videos, I do use corn, corn even in the summertime, when it's fresh, that's what, one of my favorite things to get on a pizza. I like roasting it, charring it, or getting some little bit of like, you know, something going on with it. You can do this actually straight in the uni. You can husk the corn and just stick it right actually on the deck or in a pan, or do it on the grill. I did this on the grill because I also, some bomb zucchini, this is so fresh right out of the garden. I just grilled it, I seasoned it just a little bit with um, some oregano and uh, olive oil, just grilled it up, put it into cubes, it looks really bomb. Then also it's just some organic heirloom cherry tomatoes, really beautiful, those ones that kind of look like watermelons, I love those headies for sure. On the base of shallots and garlic, and then today too for cheese, we got a little bit of a mix. I got the fresh mozz, that's really great with all these fresh toppings. I feel like this one, I could get into the feta vibes on this. I, personally, I'm not a super fan of feta on pizzas. I feel like it can be a bit much sometimes. It just doesn't play well with some things, I think. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping. But today I'm gonna put it in there. I like the looks of it on this one. And we're working on, this is sourdough. This is from that same batch. If you see my video where I take you from the starter, making the dough, firing it. This is that same batch. We're on day two of the fermentation on this. It's looking super proofy, but I don't know. This is kind of like looking way different than my dough usually looks, but it, it cooked up really bomb yesterday. And you, as you can see, it's nice and airy, but it hasn't collapsed. So that looks good to me. You know, it's like you're bumming if it's like, you know, I was keep mentioning overproofed of, how you can see something is overproof, I feel is like, you know, if this was like, you it expanded and it just is, is collapsing on itself, it's past its prime, but that's looking good. I got my salt, pepper, olive oil to finish it off. Today, I, you know, jaw basil did not provide, but I think basil would be really bomb on this one or some other fresh herb, but we're just gonna keep it as is with the salt and pepper and some olive oil. I'm gonna get this thing stretched out, we'll build it. Fire it in the uni with the beautiful view. Summer vibes in full swing. Can't wait to make this thing. Let's get it going. All right, got the dough stretched out. If you're curious on my dough stretching techniques, I got other videos that kind of show that, but we'll keep it quick on this one. Just bringing you this super summer vibes pie coming in with all the garden fresh veggies, that zucchini, super easy one to grow in your backyard. And some corn, I didn't grow that, but it's Hedy's organic OG. California ground, so I'm into that. I started with the base, the so uh, not cilantro. We got shallots and garlic. I like to put it on the bottom so it doesn't burn, like that garlic can scorch in the oven because it's just raw sliced garlic. I'm gonna go now, fresh mozzarella, starting from the outside, working in. I never like to go too heavy in the center. That's typically the weakest spot in your dough, so you don't want to overload it there. We're out by the crust, it can handle quite a bit more. I got feta cheese coming in the mix too, so I'm not gonna go too heavy, but on a white pie like this, you wanna, by white pie, I mean, there's just no sauce on the bottom of this. I'm gonna do a little drizzle of olive oil, but when, you, when you're doing that, you wanna make sure that you do have enough cheese or toppings on there to keep the dough from just bounce, expanding up into a giant bubble that typically burns and just doesn't taste very good or look, look all that awesome, but, all right, got the feta on there. Maybe you could have done the feta on the top. I'm gonna go next. Got those zooks. This is just simply like the freshest zucchini you can find. I grilled it. I like a little bit of a little bit of char on there, and just you know, I put a little bit of oregano on there too. And just perfumed it, smelling really good. I like it, tasting really fresh. And then this corn I got today. Yeah, this stuff. Like I said, I didn't grow it, but it's Hedy's head man for sure. I like to kind of keep it if you can get those chunks like this. It's super sweet. It's that bicolor corn. I think that stuff's really rad. That's one of my favorites of the season. When I see that at the farmer's market or wherever you pick up your goods, you know, that that's kind of stuff is what I'm into it. And this will look really nice. This is one of my dad's favorite toppings. So I like to hook him up with the corn whenever I'm going to see him. And this looks pretty good. It'll go pretty fatty on this. All right. And then just some, uh, these are like little heirloom uh, cherry tomatoes. 
like I said, there's those ones that, you know, different colors. I like whenever I'm making a pie to get a ton of colors in the mix. I would have liked some basil on this one, but it just didn't work out today. But I think this is gonna still be Hedy's for sure. Look at that. So, we, you know, a little mix of that, like so you get the different colors. This is good. This thing's looking loaded. I didn't really stretch this one super big. You always gotta watch on your workspace here to make sure nothing gets on it because it's gonna be a problem when you pick it up. But um, 320 grams, I didn't stretch it. That looks like maybe we'll end up with like a 12 inch pie. Uh, looking pretty good. Gonna hit it now just with some olive oil and some salt and pepper. Get this thing loaded up. I got the uni heating up outside. It's about like at the 50% range. Going for like three and a half, four minute bake on this one. Let's get this thing loaded up. Gonna watch it bake and we'll give it a taste. Super summer vibes looking handy for sure. All right, get this thing loaded up. All right, this thing baking so far so good. Here, you just turn it down here until it's low setting. Don't want to burn it. You like shoot for a two, three minute bake. Already seeing some nice leoparding going on back there. That back left corner is always really hot, so you gotta watch it. But don't want to go in too early to rip it. But you know we're up here almost 30 seconds. That's a good time to start thinking about going in for a road hit. I'm going in. Yeah, look at that. Oh, a little bit, a little bit dark there. I'm gonna go put this up into that little lower setting up here past the lightning bolt, which I really like. Oh, did we get it off? There we go. Back in business. Oh man, a little bit of charring there. Up to almost a minute. That's just that back left corner so hot and I was goobing it. Messing around with the oven. Yeah, that's a little bit. That's like free fire material there, but yeah, you know, we'll see. This pizza should still taste pretty good. Up to almost a minute 30 now. Just dial this back a little bit more. Fortunate burnage. What are you gonna do though? This is just still looking really nice with the summer vibe. We're up to almost a minute 45 now. Look at that. Looking pretty good on day two of the fermentation. And when I'm saying day two, that's the cold fermentation. So we had like the first day where it did about eight hours at a, at room temp, and then it went into the fridge. You know, see that there's some of those bigger chunks of cheese. We want to make sure that melts. If you're having trouble with that melting too, you can just dome the pie kind of at the end as it's finishing. You know, put it up up here to get that little, little more cheese melted. Always being careful to not burn. Get that back, that, you know, this area right here is just scorching. So when it's like that, just maybe like rest it because it's still, it's not fully baked, but that's totally scorched there. And what I can do to just kind of salvage this a bit, you know, that part won't taste that good, but we can just let it hang out here, kind of at the edge of the oven so it doesn't burn anymore while the rest of it finishes up. It's starting to look pretty good. It's a little light back there. Get this thing finishing up. Almost at three minutes. You know, this bake feel like it could have gone better, but I think it'd still be a delicious pie. I'm liking the looks of all the stuff on the top. The burnt part though, who likes a burnt pie? We're up to almost three minutes. I'm thinking about pulling this thing. Bottom's looking pretty good. Take a look here. That cheese is all melted. Oh man, some more scorches. Let's just get this thing off. Let it finish up. Up to almost 3.30, let's get it out of here. I don't want it to burn anymore. Get a little, little last damage, melt that cheese a little more. I mean, it's looking pretty good. The crust got kind of scorched. Bummed about that, still really good vibes on this pie, I think. We're gonna let it um, rest on the rack here. I like to do about 20 seconds to a minute. Gonna slice this thing up, give it a taste. Bake could have gone better, but I think the awesome summer vibes will still keep it all right. Let's give it a taste. It's pizza time. Got this thing sliced up into four fatty slices. 
the full summer vibes with the garden veggies all up in the mix. But unfortunately, this definitely looks burnt to me along the outside here. It was just real hot in that back left corner. Just wasn't quite dialed on the oven today. That would be a refire in a restaurant. But if you're at home, you're still grubbing this thing. I bet you it'll taste better than that burnage looks. But, like, nobody likes that. Don't don't let anybody fool you when it's that dark and just fully crispized. But, all right. I'll just less, not focus on that because I'm still pumped on this pie. It looks really good with that roasted corn, the garden fresh soups. This dough, you know, it's a total trip. It's a little different mix than usual. And it was really puffy, really airy. like that, but still, like, been a little bit crisp. I had made some other pies yesterday that were super bomb. I'm into it. Gonna pick this one up. Look, and get, look at that. That pick up the bottom looks really nice. Puffy. This looks good to me. It's kind of like that hybrid Neapolitan New York. I don't even know what to call it. It's just called good pizza to me. Give it a try. It definitely, you know, so that burnage along there, the bottom looks good. It was just hitting that, like, real close to that flame, I think, in the back. So I should have had it down lower. Give this thing a taste. Oh, wow. <clears throat> this pizza is tasting really good to me. I feel like... You know, that second day on the fermentation, as the second day, as in the cold ferment, you really hit like a point where it gets really good. I feel like the flavor improves, the handling the dough. This one, I was a little bit sketched out because it really proved it was really puffy, but it didn't collapse. It was looking good to me. The flavor on this one is really good. I like it because it's got, you know, that mix of the double zero and the bread flour. You get some chew. That's what I like. You know, some people, maybe that's not their jam, but I like to bite with maybe a little crisp bite real tender on the inside though it's fully baked through i'm really liking the looks of this one not burnt on the bottom this is better than i thought i still think it'd be a refire i wouldn't send this out to any guests with that burnt there that's just too much but at home we're gonna you know this is a super bomb i'm actually not at home i'm on location here in south laguna with the bomb view it's so awesome but hope you're at home or wherever you are making this bomb delicious pizza thinking about it dreaming it hope you if you liked it, please like and subscribe. I got much more pizza content in the way. Check out the blog, SantaBarbaraBaker.com. SantaBarbaraBaker on Instagram. Hope this is of help. I'm going to have more dough stuff on the way. Take you on more journeys of my dough experimentation and just finding all these fresh toppings to get on there. It's summertime. It's one of the best times for pizza. Hope everybody's staying safe, eating lots of pizza. One love.